Hello, people of the world. Greetings from High Himalayas. I wish you all happy World Water Day. Today, 22nd March, we celebrate this precious liquid that is more precious than gold. We can live without gold, but we cannot live without water. It is that precious, just that it is so abundant that we don't understand its value. Hi, I'm Sonam Wangchuk in Ladakh, and I'm sitting on my 17th day of total climate fast, along with some 150 people in the night when it's minus 5 to minus 15 degrees and thousands of people in the day exactly for safeguarding the water towers of Asia, the glaciers of Hindu Kush Himalayas, which, by the way, support the lives of roughly 2 billion people directly or indirectly, which is one fourth of the population of the planet. An entire North India depends on it. So it's not just Ladakh's problem, it's everybody's problem. We here in Ladakh are primary witness to the disappearing glaciers in the wake of climate change. In my own life, I've seen glaciers vanish. Glaciers that used to be by the roadside, or rather we used to drive over, are now hundreds of meters away and above. Glaciers like Drangdrung, which used to be a towering height that we would strain our necks to see, are now a shadow of themselves. We have seen them and seen them leave flash floods and droughts alternatingly. The impact has been so bad that some of us in Ladakh are forced to invent artificial glaciers like Mr. Norfell, or at our school and university, we have been inventing giant vertical cones of ice called ice stupas that hold millions of liters of water in winter as we refreeze the melting glaciers. And due to its shape, they last till summer when water is most needed. And now we are embarking on modern automation. And for the last two years, our team has been working on automating the whole process so that it is painless for the villagers to make and the operations are unmanned when it is minus 20 to minus 40 degrees. Another advance we are making as we are going into making huge ice dams covering entire valleys so that these help recharge the groundwater while themselves being a reservoir of water that does not hinder the flow of floods in the autumn like dams of concrete or other materials do. We are happy about these developments, but we are not at all proud of them because these little interventions cannot solve our water problems, melting glaciers. The real solution lies in your hands. Yes, you all in the big cities of the world. If you all live simply in your big cities, then we in the mountains may simply live. We deserve that much at least. So the demands or the objectives of my fast are actually twofold. One, to change the lifestyles of people in the big cities. Secondly, from the government to change their policies to safeguard these fragile ecosystems with their glaciers, flora, fauna and unique indigenous tribal cultures under the Indian constitution, the sixth schedule. We hope you'll join your voice with ours for having a green, safe and secure Himalayas. You can join Friends of Ladakh and organize little gatherings and if possible one day fasts 
in your own cities on Sunday the 24th March. Once again, happy World Water Day and have a great day. Jule and Jai Hind.